Hi guys, this is Marsha and as promised I will be putting up my signs um, in front of Parliament building and I'm going to use the words of the Minister of I don't know what he's the Minister of to be honest anymore Stuart Young when he spoke about El Pecos he mentioned substance over form. Just gonna turn the camera quickly as I've parked. He mentioned substance over form. He said that at the end of the day, El Puecos was always a restaurant and they could be charged because they're using loopholes. They know they're not a supermarket. Well, I'm gonna suggest substance over form. I am going to put signs, yes, on a public space. But you, you have stopped us from gathering and from protesting. Prove to us that the state of emergency was not called to stop dissent. The United Nations stands firmly in their position. We are not to stop citizens from exercising their democratic right to disagree with the government. So you want us to abide by new normal, then you abide by new normal forms of protesting. I am calling on absolutely no one to join me at this very moment. Do not gather. There, I made a block before I go to put up my signs. There is no one around. So it's not like I met a crowd. Let us put up our signs. Prove to us, and that's what my first sign actually says. Right? My first sign says, prove to us that this state of emergency is not about stopping our signs, not about silencing us. Leave our signs up. Let us plaster signs all around Parliament. Leave our signs up because we're not gathering. So anybody that comes here to put up a sign, if you meet a crowd, don't come out your car. If there's no one there, get out and put up your sign. New normal protesting. We are protesting without any form of public gathering. Prove to us that this state of emergency is not about stopping dissent. I'm going to put up my sign now. I'm here with my daughter. She's gonna continue holding the camera for me. We are not gathering because I'm with my daughter walking. I'm going to walk because I don't wanna park directly in front of parliament because i'm respecting parliament so i'm going to walk as a means of transportation to get there with my daughter only okay just i'm going to turn back over the um camera now so that we can get out of the car and walk okay Wait. i'm going to take this from jesse now we're gonna head out Get my butt. <laughs> you can just get tall, man. Don't get me yet. <laughs> you know, I don't like the camera. <laughs>
very quickly. things and you put away the protest. I understand that, but you have to put that International away. law allows me to speak. Ma'am. International law allows me to speak. We are under a state of emergency. International law, the United Nations says that governments are not allowed to use state of emergencies to stop dissent. That's that is what please? international law says. What's your name, please? I'm not harassing anyone. What's your name, please, ma'am? Marsha Walker. Marcia Walker. Guys, they have told us that we need to stop. I, and you're doing your job. Yes, they have told us that we need to stop. So we're going to take our signs down. Today was proof that the state of emergency is not about COVID. It is about silencing our voice. What are you away from, please? Could I ask? Is there a reason you're asking? I need to get the information in order to pass it on. This is part of my duty. So, I'm Marsha Walker, Diggle Martin West. Let it be stated for the record that I was a candidate against the Prime Minister. So I hope that that does not go as part of the victimization that's happening today. It's no victimization. But, but the UN I'm says it, sorry. the UN says it, sir. The UN says, the UN clearly says it. They put out, they put out information and they appeal to governments. Dissent must be allowed. The definition of dissent means that I am within my democratic right to disagree with the government. Yes, I have, do not agree with any public gatherings. I have made sure to tell people, don't come and join me. I have actually been public to say, don't come and join me. Yes, I am not, I'm I not breaking any COVID protocols. It's not about breaking the COVID protocols. But right. then, but do you, as the you know, I don't, I don't. As now, as the law stands now, with a state of emergency being enacted. We can't put a sign. We cannot protest. And I am saying that that's against, that's against international law. So, and so you are saying. You are free to bring that up in a court of law. So you are saying, as the law stands now, we cannot protest at all. We cannot no, speak at all. We can't we even put a sign. No, so we can't even put a sign. So we are not allowed to speak up against the yes. government. You can get your rights and everything that can be deemed in a court of law. I am only here So we to must go to a court of law to ask for this. Yes, is that what you're saying? That just United Nations, this is what is going on in Trinidad. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I applaud the way that you spoke to me. I absolutely appreciate the because respect it's not that you were able it's to. It's not about victimization. It's not about me. I understand that you are enforcing the law. Thank you. You call on Dr. Rowley to amend the law. Allow dissent. It is our democratic right. Thank you, sir. Ma'am, did you get all the information that you need? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You, are you as well. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Right, so you all heard it. United Nations. We're not allowed to protest. This is not about COVID. This is about stopping our voices. Right? We're going to stay live, but I'm going to stop speaking about the government because they can call it a protest. But we're going to stay live until I'm safely in my car. Right? My sign said it proved to us that this state of emergency is not about silencing us. If they were interested in silencing us, they would have allowed, they were not interested in silencing us. They would have allowed the signs to stay up. They did not allow the signs to stay up because this state of emergency is about silencing us. It is about stopping dissent, which the UN said no state of emergency should allow, right? That's what the state of emergency really is about today. It's about stopping dissent. It is not about COVID. Open up your eyes, Trinidad. Write letters like crazy. Put these signs. 
Put it outside your homes. Right? Do it. Actually, no, don't do it because they'll say that that's us protesting. And we're not allowed to protest. We're not allowed to speak. We are not allowed to do any form of protest. Whether or not, whether or not it, it's against protocol, public health guidelines, we are not allowed to protest any form or fashion. Y'all heard it directly from the police officer's mouth. We are not allowed to protest. We'll see what the United Nations has to say about that. Guys, I'm gone. I'm totally out of breath. It's very difficult to walk and speak and all of these things with a mask. But yes, I do it, Mr. Prime Minister. I am not like you that leaves his mask off while addressing the nation and setting no example. I am not like your minister, Mr. Imbert, who walks blatantly in public with no mask, with police behind him and still not being arrested. I lead by example. I am not somebody who says, do as I do, do as I say and not as I do. I am calling on the Prime Minister to allow us our democratic right to protest. I am calling on the Prime Minister to end this state of emergency now. It is our right to earn an income. It is our right to feed our families. It is our right to survive. We will die of hunger before we die of COVID. You have no plan. Your vaccination program has failed. You failed to test in the beginning and you failed to vaccinate now. Open the economy and figure out a way for us to live with COVID and earn an income. Thank you guys. Goodbye.